Alcohol. Recently, we asked you, the audience, what questions you would like to ask locals about Chinese New Year. So we sat down with three sets of people to ask them your questions about the biggest holiday in China, from childhood memories to what it means to them today. Enjoy. Because our there's a monster called Nian, and then it visits the village um, once every year during the Chinese New Year. They like kill children, and, and then people started doing fireworks and uh, firecrackers because they feel like oh, uh, we can scare the Nian away, and also Nian is afraid of the color red. Legally, you're like allowed to have seven days like with payment. A lot of like work the uh, worker they work in the factory, mm -hmm. but when the Chinese New Year coming, all the factory shut down. Every worker they go back home because like so many people are like going out of the city and or like getting out of the country or whatever. It's uh, it, like the tickets get a lot expensive and then like sometimes they don't even have enough supply of it. When you get New Year, you need to go back home with your family. Chinese they, thinking. They work very hard, maybe just one year, just back one time. Yes. So the Chinese New Year is the, the most important uh, it's the, this year. To all the human beings, it's the biggest things like people moving. Mm -hmm. But every year. What I like is my childhood. It's the I love it. Like there's like fireworks and firecrackers and stuff like that, and then we like we put like random firecrackers in glass bottles and we blow it up. Sleep is not can't sleep because they are all the fun that they are playing. This guy is playing, that guy is playing, and then we can keep going. It was cold because I have to go to like all the way to like the north part of China because my dad is from there. Like we are now, uh, getting older, we can't beat our children, we can't beat them, we can't beat them. So when I Chinese, you are much enjoy like because my grandfather and grandmother they are divorced, so I can go to two. Oh. I, I got two grandfather and two grandmother. I can go to a lot of home <laughs> and a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. more than the other children. Now, with the older people, it's a bit different. 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 Because in the city, no New Year's vibe anymore. Yeah. Not like our like, when we are, when we young, mm. it's so cool, amazing. Everyone is everyone is waiting for the New Year. But right now, it's like okay, New Year is just vacation. If I'm a guy, they expect me to bring by my girlfriend. If I'm married to a guy, I would go to my uh, father-in-law or like parents-in-law house first. Normally we do celebrate in the house, of course big dinner and then I, I think maybe go somewhere pick up some good alcohol <laughs> and play mahjong. My, when my dad gets the gift for my aunt or my grandma, it's like they, they, they think of it as a, like a holy thing from city and then they're like Whoa, I'm not gonna ruin it by wearing it. New Year Eve, that night, you have to drink a lot. Yeah. To celebrate the New Year coming. Oh, in the midnight. Yeah. Celebrate. You're supposed to drink a lot. Like a lot. But not for girls. When sons and like nephews are away from the um, hometown, they come back and they're like, oh, this is the important stage of your life. It's a new year for you. So how about drink a little more to show us what you got, like how much you can drink from being outside. The thing about home ball is that like they give it to you and then like You need to give all the money to your parents Oh, how about I keep it for you so that you don't lose it And then at the end of the year you completely forget like Home ball is for the kids Like our right now age, we need to give home ball out, not take home ball anymore. Yeah <laughs> I usually get like 
a thousand and then um but last year because i'm not like around so he just sent me 200 i'm like your firework more louder the money guy will come to your family come yeah. to your house so it's like a competition Maybe I'm rich than you. Yeah. Mm. I buy more like fireworks. Fireworks. To show people. You know, to show, to people, show people I'm rich. Like, <laughs> the year just passed, uh, my family get a lot of money. Our business is good. Yeah. yeah. So my firework is more louder than yours. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then also some family, in maybe last year, they are not lucky. Uh -huh. So they buy more fireworks. Yeah. Clean the devil out. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. And then also, you want uh, some good luck coming and then you also buy it. It's like illegal in like like the central part of Shanghai. Right now China already have too much pollution. Mm -hmm. Yes, we still fireworks a lot. That was crazy when yeah. we was young. Not yeah. even we was young, you know, even like three or five years ago, still yes. if you take a look when the Chinese New Year, the holiday, the beginning of the midnight coming, yeah. everyone should close the window and door. Yes. <laughs> yeah. oh. Be safe like the war. <laughs> like the war, you know. <laughs> some people say it's your lucky year, some people say it's gonna be a challenging year. When the first day to I think it's one week later, or maybe only four or five days later, it's the money god coming. Yeah, <laughs> only yeah, money god. China, yeah. this country has money god. Yeah. <laughs> That's why China when we down or whatever crash and then we come back very fast because this is our religion. Right now we cannot fireworks in the city. Yes. But for the money God, if please catch me, I tell him this is God <laughs> to tell me to do it. Yeah. yeah. Right? This is... You wear something red to flush it out your unluckiness. Wear red socks, red when we'll get more lucky. But actually it works sometimes. I'm I'm a cow, so when that year so you need to get more lucky because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It makes sense sometimes. If you get a haircut, your Jojo is gonna die. And I think Jojo is like your your mom's brother, something like that. So you're not supposed to get a haircut. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed getting an insight to this holiday. And if you have any fond memories or crazy stories of your own, let us know in the comments below. Speaking of fond memories, I also want to take a moment just to thank Didi for the support on this video. Back in December, we worked with Didi's English version to provide you with a comprehensive guide to Shanghai. Well, Didi is back again in time for the new year, providing their users with a review of the rides that they've taken in the past year. Of course, the recap covers all the typical data points a yearly review should, including longest trip taken. I want to know what I did before. Mm, mm. It also includes some other interesting tidbits definitely worth checking out. Certainly entertaining to remind yourself of all the places you've DD'd in the past year and to see how you stack up compared to other writers on the platform. Plus, I hear there may be discounts inside. To get your own personalized recap of your rides, just click the link below provided in the description box. Hot tip, there are coupons inside. Thanks for watching. And you have a mama hoo hoo day. I told you we're not doing that. And I said we are.